Hey there. If you're watching this, it means you're probably pretty new to some vascular, and hopefully we can go through some stuff today to get you familiar with the layout and how to do some things in some vascular. So uh, to start off with, uh, up, I've opened the some vascular main window, and uh, I've resized it to fit my window. Um, and you can see a few different three things over here. We have our black. 3D window. Um, and then we, over here on our right, we have pretty much uh, the area you can access the functionality of some vascular. And then over here, we have just some simple work menus to help facilitate the use of some vascular. So, file, um, and this is where you load and save all your different paths, surfaces, and, and models. Uh, image menu, this just turns on and off certain tabs over here and work menus you can turn on and off uh, tabs here just to help you with your own organization of the layout. Um, so first these tabs up here are for the image data. It helps you display the image data. You can view the different uh, slice planes and do point clouds, ISO surface, uh, and a couple more advanced tabs as well. Um, so moving on down, uh, these are the t main tabs of some vascular and go through the workflow. Um, so I'll describe a little bit about the console, but we also have the paths and we go on to segmentation, creating a model, meshing, running a simulation, and just overall displaying of stuff in the 3D and 2D reslice windows. Um, so first for the console, this is a tickle interpreter. And a majority of some vasculars functionality can be accessed through this Tickle console. Um, a lot of the functionality is written in C++, um, but Tickle uh, wrappers have been created to allow access to these fu this functionality. And so you can figure out different commands in some vascular. Uh, just info prox brings up all the different uh, procedures available in the Tickle console. Obviously, some vascular is a, a big software, so we have lots of them, and this is probably not the best way to go about finding what to use. Uh, if you really want to look into it, uh, you can download the source code for free online on our website, somevascular.org, and you can go through the code and uh, look through all the different uh, Tickle functions available. That'll give you a better idea of what they do. Um, but let's just, for an example, I know that I maybe want to turn this 3D window white, um, and I happen to know the command for that, which is viz ren set background, uh, and then the 3D window, and 111 for white. I change this background window to white. So, I mean, this is obviously also available right here but just to show that you can access that functionality through the tickle console so this is a really powerful tool if you're uh, if you want to script things and rerun things and do things over and over and you don't necessarily want to click all the buttons in the GUI this is a good way to do it um, so now then we have the paths tab and this is where on the image data you create the, the tree structure of paths in order to create your your model of your image data. Uh, then the segmentation tab, actually segmenting the image data to give you the, the uh, structure that you desire. Creating a model from this image data. Meshing uh, to create a volumetric tetrahedral mesh. Um, running the simulation, this is the whole workflow for the pre-solver, uh, the solver and uh, post solving for simulation and then like I mentioned the displays tab where you can actually select uh, different actors on your screen with the button P uh, and then all these buttons here allow you to change different properties such as the color, uh, edge size, um, and opacity, things, things like that. Uh, so a lot of functionality here. Um, hopefully that helps you guys get uh, familiar with some vascular and the overall kind of framework of it. Um, 
but check out our other videos if you have um, more questions about some of the different tabs and what they can do. And if there's anything you want to see, go ahead and post here. Uh, try to update these videos as much as possible, but uh, if you guys want to see something spe uh, specific, go ahead and post and we'll try to get that done. Um, so thank you and hopefully you have a good day. All right.